What is going on guys, my name is Trap and welcome to this tutorial how to create this what you are getting, uh, what you're seeing right now. Um, so this is how to do these cubes which are around the text in a helix and then they are exploding. And yeah, I'm going to show it to you. I made a tutorial first in English which was really weird and hard to understand and yeah. Then I made a German tutorial about this which was uh, way easier and someone asked me to do this in English too so I'm going to do this now. Okay, I'm going to delete this. Um, what you need to do, you click on MoGraph and then you take a clone and you take a cube or a ball or whatever you want. I'm going to change this to 100 and make the edges round, put this on 10 centimeter. This looks pretty, pretty nice. So you drag the, cu uh, the, yeah, the cube into the clone and then you need a helix. So <clears throat> you click here, some longer, and take the helix then. So then you change this um, the layer to Z, uh, to Z, Y, and um, you're gonna change the rotation end a bit up and <clears throat> the height so that this fits with the text like this. And then you click on the clone and drag the helix. Oh wait, you need to click on the clone first and go to mode, click on the object. And the helix you're going to drag into this uh, field. And then it's quite it. Um, this is the first part. Uh, <clears throat> so this is just in a helix now and you need to change up the last thing. You're going to the clone and go down a bit. And here's the end. You need to keyframe this. Uh, at first <clears throat> you click on the end and make it to zero. Then you're going to hold control and hit this little circle here next to end. Then you go up to like, yeah, uh, I go up to 80 now <clears throat> and put this on 100. And then you make a keyframe again with c control and clicking that circle. So this is building up itself right now, like this. Okay, so the first part <clears throat> is quite finished. Um, this is it. So what we need to do now, we click on the clone and uh, to like making ex explode. Click on the clone, a factor, random. And I'm gonna change this up so until it looks pretty nice. Just need to figure out how, maybe like this. So and if you like it, <clears throat> you click on uh, the effector and change it to zero and yeah <clears throat> so um this is going to be on zero until here at 80 then i go some frames forward like 10 and i put it on like 70 and then you make a keyframe again and at the end you put it on like 130 so yeah you can also change up with this stuff so that it makes it looking nicer better not nicer <laughs> okay um maybe like this like somehow just move it until you like it and then the whole stuff uh wait i forgot a keyframe here the whole stuff is looking like uh zero. The whole stuff is looking now like this. So it's building up <clears throat> until there and then it's boom, exploding. Yeah. So, I hope I could help you with this with this tutorial. Um thanks for watching and if you have any other questions about making tutorials, whatever, just write it into the comments. And um yeah, the next thing I want to explain to you will probably be how to spline how to create splines. And yeah, so see you at the next tutorial or intro, and goodbye, guys.